With so many great resources on the internet, just about everything that you would ever want to know is available online. In this special edition, in the Useful Website series, I will show you 10 websites that will expand your knowledge base to make you smarter. Some of these will be well-known sites, along with websites you may have never heard of before. Let's get started. First up is Khan Academy, which is one of the oldest and most well-known sites for learning. They offer instructional videos and lessons, which allow you to study at your own pace. In addition to offering some of the best math lessons you'll find online, they offer courses for science and engineering, computing, arts and humanities, and economics and finance. They also offer test prep for several college entrance exams, including the SAT. If you're a teacher or parent, free tools are provided that can help you with your students or children. Khan Academy is a nonprofit supported by donors and is completely free. Code.org is another nonprofit that is focused on teaching people the basics of coding with courses that are kid friendly. They have a section called Hour of Code, which are fun one hour tutorials that are available in over 45 languages. The site has a ton of content, including lessons which include Minecraft, Star Wars, Crossy Road, and many others. If you wanted, you could make your own Flappy game. But seriously, the last thing this world needs is another Flappy Bird clone. In addition to the numerous sites I've mentioned in the past, Code.org is a great place to begin when learning how to write code. How Stuff Works, launched way back in 1998, is still useful for gathering all types of knowledge in various categories. They provide reliable articles with easy to understand explanations of how the world actually works. If you have a curious mind, How Stuff Works is a site you should check out. MIT OpenCourseWare offers undergraduate and graduate level courses online that are openly available to anyone. All the courses are free and finding a course is easy. You could hover your mouse over Find Courses and either select Topic, MIT Course Number, or Department but I have found the easiest way to find what I'm looking for is to use the search bar. For example, if you wanted to learn the Python programming language, just type Python into the search bar and select Python programming. Now you'll see a full list of courses that may be of interest to you. MIT OpenCourseWare offers courses within dozens of departments for you to choose from. If you're interested in science, Discover Magazine, which has been around since 1980, offers a website with interesting articles that will expand your mind. Just like How Stuff Works, the information is presented without too much jargon in a clear and concise manner. Lately, I've been catching up on their articles regarding artificial intelligence, which are thought-provoking and insightful. Discover Magazine is not affiliated or owned by the same company that owns the Discovery Channel. Most of you are familiar with TED. TED-Ed is their education initiative geared towards students and teachers through the use of original animated videos. The videos on TED-Ed cover various subjects, including mathematics, science and technology, business and economics, and many others. The videos on TED-Ed created by experts in their field are usually no longer than six minutes in length. Allison is a free education site offering high quality courses in several different categories. Some of those categories include IT, science, business, math, software engineering, and many others. Just like many of the free online education sites, Allison offers certificate courses. The courses are still free, but to receive a certificate, that does cost extra. I'm a huge advocate of learning by doing. Instructables is the first of three websites with do-it-yourself projects created by users that can teach you how to do just about anything. On Instructables, how it works is that users upload instructions to their projects. Usually, these will include pictures or videos that will walk you through the process. Just like YouTube, there's a comment section below the post where you can interact with other users working on that project. If you can't find a project on Instructables, Make is another great site for discovering do-it-yourself projects. Whether you're a beginner or have an engineering degree, 
you'll find a project here that will fit your skill set. In addition to searching by category, you can filter the results by difficulty and duration. Some of the projects can be a little wacky. Recently, I came across this one on how to make a dog bowl coffee roaster. Make also produces Maker Faire, which are events held globally showcasing crafts, engineering, science projects, and other DIY stuff. If you haven't been to a Maker Faire yet, you should go. A good time will be had by all. The third of the websites featuring do-it-yourself projects is simply named Do-It-Yourself. They're well known for being a home improvement and repair website. In addition, they also feature other types of projects in various categories. Their large assortment of buyer's guides are also worth checking out before purchasing a new product. Just like the other two sites previously mentioned, there's an amazing amount of free DIY projects for you to choose from. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a website that you think would benefit others, let me know about it in the comments. If you haven't done so already, share this video with others, subscribe, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the newest useful websites videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.